Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to get into UM. How's it going? My name is Ashton Herndon. And if you couldn't tell by now, I'm probably one of the biggest Florida State fans out there. I mean, come on. This is kind of my thing now. But what you guys might not know is that I was literally one click away from going to UM. I mean, this sweet little guy that you all know and love was seconds away from looking like this. Wow. I know, it's some pretty crazy shit to think about. And even though I've pretty much become the poster boy for Florida State, there was a time in my life where all I wanted to do was go to Miami. When I was in high school, I would see all these schools in the South with all the big parties, college towns, and everything you need for that classic college experience. And even though all these schools gave off the perfect college vibe, I knew I wanted to go somewhere with a lot more than just a college campus. I mean, I would watch endless YouTube videos about all these kids having the time of their lives in Miami. And after seeing all these kids living out their best life, I knew that Miami was the city for me. Me. So one fateful morning as I was watching the best campus tour video out there, I came across the one school that would forever change my whole perspective on college. The University of Miami, baby. I mean, from first sight, UM was a match made in heaven. From the beautiful campus to the iconic city, amazing culture, great academics, and all of it within the greatest city in America, I started to think that the only thing they were missing was a cute little YouTuber like me. Which I mean, they do still need. But you know what? We're gonna take care of it. But as college decisions started to roll around, my dream of going here started to get a little more shaky. When I first came to visit Miami, I started to notice very quickly that this place was exactly what I thought it would be. All around campus, I would see these amazing students with awesome school spirit. And even though seeing all this was a dream come true, I became absolutely terrified because I realized that getting in here would be a lot harder than I thought it would be. And after hearing that admissions are top secret, but also really easy to get into, and the best place to be, but the most expensive place to live, I had no idea how to feel about UM anymore. And I started to question if I could even get accepted in the first place. And that's why I'm here today. I know that getting into college can be a super stressful process. And at times, it really does feel like a lottery on who they actually let in. But lucky enough for you, I got a couple tricks on my sleeve to help you guys get a guaranteed spot here. So today we're taking a little road trip. So today we're sneaking into enemy territory to see just how good the U really is. And even though I got in here with some pretty decent scores, there's a ton of different people out there that got in a completely different way than I did. From valedictorians, to transfer students, to even a couple of international students out there no stones being left unturned today baby i'm actually like really excited for this shit today bro like we're in miami the sun is shining doing this all weekend but at the end of the day i am a florida state kid in enemy territory and i guarantee you that they're not used to a goofy ass kid like me running up to them and being like excuse me sir how'd you get in here so i mean this is definitely gonna be interesting all right you ready uh yeah yeah, that's the spirit. All right, let's do this. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Do you guys mind if I ask you a couple questions for a YouTube video? Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. By all means. Awesome, let's do it. You ready? Ready for yes. me? I'm so ready. I am ready. I I'm ready. All right, the confidence here. Everyone's so ready, I love it. You nervous? A little bit, a little. I'm so nervous right now, man. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> it's okay. Ready? I got a little trick and it works every time. I promise. We're going to take a deep breath here. Inhale. And exhale. How do you feel now? So good. Ah, see? <laughs> I told you it would work. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. All right. Sweet. So first question, what is your name and how many years have you been at UM? My name is Saidi Birch. Leighton Wolf. Joseph Lopez. I'm Guillermo Moreno and I've been at UM for three years. Three years. Two years. Two years. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. One and a half semesters. Two years and a half. Almost four years. Four weeks. I've also been here for only four weeks. Dang, we got some newbies on the scene. I love it. And what was your number one reason for coming to Miami? Number one reason, I live in Miami. I live about five minutes from campus. I actually have family in Miami. My family actually lives here. I was born and raised here. I grew up here. My first music lessons were here. Like everything that has happened in my life that's been like really important has been here. I just love it. So why, why would I not stay? Best city in, my, in, uh, in Florida. It really is. It really is. I've always wanted to come to Miami when I was little. It was my dream school ever since I was little. My parents trust me up in UM onesies and everything. Like, I was meant to be here. I chose Miami because it's close to the city. I'm originally from New York, so I was like, I was going for the city vibe. It just like felt like home and everyone here seemed really happy. The mix of like a good campus and good academics. Definitely like the pre-med program. I love the business program here at UM. They had a microbio program, which I was really excited about. And also the Frisbee team, shout out. Hey, shameless plug, let's go. Everything worked out like financially, like scholarship Wise. Best offer financially. The financials really worked out for me. It allows me to like just like see more opportunities and 
I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. So obviously, there's a ton of different reasons out there to come to UM. And whether you're a legacy, a first gen, or even just a fan of beaches, there's a million different reasons to come here. But at the end of the day, the schoolwork here is still pretty damn rigorous. So it doesn't necessarily mean that everyone's happy with their decision. So I decided to go a little deeper to see if this place really lives up to the hype. Now, on a scale of one to 10, how happy are you with that decision? Um, I'd say an eight. Six. Nine and a half. Well, I'm blistering in the sun right now, so I'm going to give it a seven. <laughs> <laughs> Some days it changes. Sometimes it's uh, zero because of the traffic. You're going to I-95 on the Palmetto. You know how it is. It's a pain and you know what. Miami is really expensive. Aid is a big thing and housing is terrible. Like I'm going to lose housing next year. Even going out is like expensive down here. Like literally everything. So it does add up after a while. But some days it's great to be on campus. So, you know, it's great to see the culture. So probably, probably a 10 sometimes. I'd say 10. 10. Oh, a 10. Definitely a 10. I'm going to give it a 10. Infinity. I couldn't put a number on it. I'm so happy. I'm so happy here. This is like, this is the best school. I love it. I feel like this is where I was meant to be. I really like the campus, the people, and my classes. The climate here is awesome. Um, I know you go to FSU. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> the weather, it just keeps you happy every day. Like, it's sunny. It's so nice. All the people are really nice, too. The people here are also just amazing. Like, I've made so many friends here. I surrounded myself with such, like, an amazing group of people. And I, I haven't looked back since. I absolutely love it. You walk around and you always see a friendly face on your way to class. And it's actually true. I have great friends. I like my classes. Um, yeah, it's great. Aww. That's so wholesome. I love that. Yeah. Damn. I mean, from the looks of it, Miami really does live up to be everything you want and more. And even though it may truly be paradise on earth, there's still the question of whether or not you actually get in in the first place. But even after hearing a ton of different rumors about how hard it is to get in here, you'd be pretty surprised with some of the responses we got. So obviously, you're at the University of Miami, which means you had some pretty decent high school scores. So what was your GPA, your test scores, and were you in any clubs in high school? Decent is an overstatement. Let's get that out of the way. Uh -uh. <laughs> so I think my GPA was unweighted, it was like a 3.7. 3.7. 3.8. Had about 3.2 or 3.4. 3.5. 3.6 maybe. Like a 3.9. 3.98. 4.0. On a weighted scale, I think it was like a 5.2. 5.2. 4.15. 4.4. 4.4. It's like a 4.5. Okay, okay. Very smart guy. But my test scores, I got a 22 on the ACT because I took it once before COVID and then I didn't end up retaking it. I didn't take SAT because of uh, the COVID thing. What I think got me in was my ACT score, which was 32. My SAT was a super scored 1400. I got exactly a 1320. 1350. 1390. 1410. 1500 SAT score. I got a 1220 on the SAT, which I was very upset about. <laughs> <laughs> but I did, I was involved in a lot of clubs in high school. I was co-president of the Mi Alpha Theta. I was in the, a lot of honor societies. The honor society. National honor society. The numerous honor societies. Art club. Of theater. I was in theater. I did theater all four years. Heavily involved in broadcast journalism. I did broadcast journalism in high school. I did a bunch of clubs ranging from robotics to our school's debate team and mock trial and stuff like that. I wasn't in any clubs, but I used to play almost professional golf, so I think that helped. Wow, okay. I was co-president of the art club, captain of the chess team. I did a lot of volunteer work. I did volunteering. I did key club. I did some service. Well, I think I was vice president or president of everything that my school had to offer. Anything that was available except sports, I, I, I probably was part of it. <laughs> Dang, yeah, my man was involved here. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was student body president my senior year. I was involved in like a lot of like climate justice stuff. I volunteered with the New England Aquarium doing like restoration projects. I ran cross country in the fall, captain, and then I was captain of the girls tennis team too. And I played ice hockey, so. Wow, <laughs> holy cow, that is very impressive. Very impressive. So as you can probably tell from some of the responses we got, there's really no financial class or academic status that defines UM. And no matter how good or bad you may look on paper, the most important part of picking the right school is finding a place where you can truly be happy. And lucky enough for you, we got a ton of different responses to see if Miami is the perfect school for you. And I have one final question. So now that you've been in Miami as long as you have, if you were to go back to high school, do it all over again, do you still think that you would have chosen the University of Miami? Oh, without a doubt. If Absolutely, 100%. Absolutely in a heartbeat. I think I would have, yeah. I would have, yeah. I probably would be more confident in going here. No.
<laughs> I honestly think so. Yeah, I think so. I'm a came for life. All about the you, baby. If I could go back and tell myself all the friends I would have made, all the connections I made, all the knowledge I was able to learn, it, it would have been a no-brainer to come to Miami. I had other options. I had better scholarship options at other schools. I had full rides to some places that I turned down to come here. And I do think I would have done it over again. Now that I am here, I don't think that I would be happier anywhere else. I just wouldn't imagine myself anywhere else. It's cool, but I do live near Miami and I feel like I could get this experience like my hometown. So it's like, I kind of wish I went up north, FSU. Hey, there we go. Let's go. I don't know about the Gators. I'm sorry. It wouldn't be, it would not be UF, but hey, you know. You, you know what's up then. This was something that I had set out and planned for from the time I was seven, eight years old. And I went through it and executed my plan and it's, it's worked out really well. I feel like I'm part of like a great community here. I think I was meant to be here and I'm really really glad that I I'm glad that that was the case I think these are some of the best people some of the best academics that you can find so I'm, I'm just really glad to be here my grandpa just died last summer and uh, you know getting to spend you know the last moments with him here while I was still on campus or just attending university you know it's a blessing to still be close to family and spend time with family so I'm just very appreciative for that that's so wholesome man that's like the best response we've gotten all day oh really it's yeah. very genuine I love to hear that so if you guys have seen any of my other interview videos before then you guys know that this is a point that I can't stress enough and even though it kills me to say it about one of my biggest rivals at the end of the day the overall message just keeps getting stronger not as single single person said that they would change where they are today. And even if it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows at first, these amazing students ended up exactly where they were meant to be. Life is always going to throw challenges at you. And at times, it may seem impossible to keep going. But at the end of the day, going to college in Miami isn't going to be easy. So as long as you push through and keep your end goal in mind, getting into your dream school is going to be a lot less scary than you think. Just keep pushing through. I promise, everything's going to work out. I know it. So with that being said, if you guys found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I do respond to every single comment. So if you have any other questions or video ideas, make sure to leave them down below. I do have a playlist of everything you need to know about college. So if you want to go check it out, it'll be right here. And if you want to join the family of over 3.8 thousand subscribers now, you can click right here. And yeah, that's it for me this week, guys. And I will see you guys next week. Oh, woo!